Don't worry, I can handle it. Mom. Okay, what's this concerned look? Well, you're always telling me to be responsible and independent. Yeah? And to make decisions? Absolutely. Good, then I was right. Lassie? He's a horse. A miniature horse, Tinker. He belongs to Mrs. Larson. You mean your teacher, Mrs. Larson, is that Mrs. Larson? Yeah, she owns him. I know she owns him. The story's been in all the papers. Mrs. Larson fell and broke her shoulder on the way to school. Lassie knows Tinker, so I volunteered to take him. Where'd you volunteer to take him to? It'll only be for a couple days. He's housebroken and everything. He won't be any trouble. Really? Tinker! That was fun, Dad. Thanks for the ride. My pleasure. You have to work late more often. Well, you and Lisa have to study late more often. Let's get something to eat. I guess I could manage something. Good. Mmm, how about some wheatgrass juice and dried seaweed? I had that for breakfast. Besides, I am hungry enough to eat a horse. Uh, well, you won't have to go far to get it. He's not here for the season. He's only moving in for a day moving or so. Moving in? Is that the horse that's been in the papers? Yeah. I'm not going to be able to show my face at school. Megan, we're only boarding him. Boarding him? I don't want to be known as the horse girl. Guys, Will made a commitment to take him. Now, we have to honor that. Don't we? Not necessarily. I agree. OK, if the horse turns out to be a problem, he's out of here. Fair? are fairly new in Glenridge. Yes, we are. Please have a seat, Miss Squires. Yes, well, I've uh, lived here a long time. <laughs> and since I'm on the city council, I have some very special responsibilities to the community. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think I understand. Oh, Elizabeth Larson. Uh, you're acquainted with Elizabeth Larson, are you not? Yes, she's my son's yes. teacher. Well, she is very, very confident as a teacher, but uh, she is difficult and eccentric. <laughs> the issue of her horse isn't a new one by any means. I see the issue. Yes, I've read your comments in the paper. She keeps a horse in her home. The next thing you know, people will want to keep sheep or goats or pigs. Well, frankly, I doubt that. Does that mean that you approve of her horse? Well, Tinker's a house pet. Oh. Please. He's a farm animal. He's been a continuing destructive nuisance, and last night 
he was in my garden again with that collie of yours destroying my flowers. Now, I know you're wrong about that. Lassie is very well behaved, and she is certainly not destructive. <laughs> you had him yes temporarily mrs mcculloch you and your husband are both in business here are you not yes well as you can imagine i know a great many people in glen ridge why miss squires that sounds like a threat those are your words i am getting an injunction against elizabeth larson to force her to get rid of that farm animal once and for all and if you don't cooperate you people are going to find yourselves party to a lawsuit I can find my way out. Good day. No, not again. Remember the last time you borrowed my camera? That was different. Anyway, can you set it up to take pictures when you're not there? Why would I want to? Megan, can we talk? No chance, Will. I can see it coming. What? The thing you're getting ready to ask me to do. The thing I'm not going to do. Don't try to help, Lassie. Megan's interested in what Megan's interested in. She doesn't care if they take Tinker away from Mrs. Larson. It's not that I don't care. <sighs> Come on, Megan. It's the only way to prove that Lassie and Tinker aren't digging up that lady's garden. OK. We can set up the camera with the tripwire. And if somebody trips the wire, we can get a picture. All right. case of blackmail. Well, what did she say exactly? Wasn't what she said exactly. It was how she implied she was going to blackball us. Blackmail and blackball. Well, at least she's color coordinated. Uh-huh. Dee, maybe you're upset because the councilwoman is right. Oh, that little horse never did anything to hurt her. She raises prize-winning flowers. Tinker's been digging up her garden. Yeah, but it's the principle of the thing. I mean, people should be allowed to be a little eccentric without some stuffy bureaucrat threatening to sue them for no reason. Is that what you're going to tell the judge when we get sued? Exactly. Uh, next thing you know, they'll be moving in sheep and goats and... Chris. Pigs. How's 
that's our border. He's doing great. What canary did you swallow? Well, Negan and I both swallowed it. Dad, we're on to something. Okay, let's hear it. Well, you know that Miss Squires has been going around saying that Tinker and Lassie tore up her garden. I did hear a rumor to that effect. Last night, Negan and I set up a camera on a yard, and the culprit tripped the wire. The culprit? Yeah, Megan's upstairs right now developing the film. We caught him in the act. And Miss Squires knew about this? Well, when we picked up the camera this morning, she saw us. She's on her way over right now to look at the picture. There she is. Uh, I think you better get Megan. I understand that, but even though they didn't get permission, I mean, their hearts were in the right place. Dad. Dad, could I see you for a minute? Uh, excuse me. Can I get you something? A carrot stick? No. Thank you. Dad, you don't want her to see this picture. Come on, Megan. You she's... don't understand. Megan, give me the picture. If it's the horse, it's the horse. And Is it's... there a problem? No, of course not. Megan? You said there was no problem. Well, she's not a professional photographer. And <laughs> it's not very clear anyway. I, uh, look, I'm sure there's some uh, logical... Well, I think it's perfectly clear. Explanation. You will be hearing from my lawyer. I, I gotta go. Uh, me too. Oh, boy. Where did this come from, and how did you get it? Will and Megan, trying to help. <laughs> well? Well, Tinker and Lassie got out last night, and I went over to see if there was any damage. Of course there's damage. You're trampling all over her flower bed. Very funny. OK. Was there damage? Well, yeah. Yeah, and it looks like you're covering it up, which is what I'm sure the councilwoman thinks. Well, I'm never going to vote for her anyway. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> you know, Christopher, every day we teach our kids to be responsible and to stand up for what they believe in. Well, Will's doing that. And now it's getting a little too hot in our kitchen, so we're going to tell him we won't keep the horse. Well, we can't do that. I say Tinker stays as long as he needs to. Even now? Especially now. How can you do geometry at a time like this? I can't. You never should have talked me into going over there. It seemed like a good idea at the time. You only made things worse. Now we're all in trouble. I'm sorry, Will. It's not your fault. It's his. Megan, relax. <laughs> Okay, it's nobody's fault. And you're adorable. But what if Tinker has been digging up the flowers? 
I mean, we don't know for sure either way. Well, all I know for sure is that Mrs. Larson is alone. Tinker's all she has. And I can't figure out how to help her. studying at Lisa's. Good luck. Hey, where have you been, Les? I caught her in the act. It could have been that collie of yours all along. Really? Uh, Will? It hasn't been Lassie all along. It hasn't been Tinker, either. And, incidentally, it hasn't been me. Nonsense. You are all responsible. Well, actually, we think you might be. I beg your pardon? Miss Squires, you have a dog, don't you? Yes. Muffin. Uh, does this belong to Muffin? Where did you find this? We think Lassie found it in your garden, where Muffin buried it. There could be all kinds of things planted there, besides flowers. Oh, Muffin would never, I mean, I mean, it, well, it never even occurred to me that... Your little dog is so cute, you can't help but love her. Like we love Lassie. Like Mrs. Larson loves Tinker. Miss Squires, Muffin wasn't digging up other people's gardens. I mean, it's her garden, too. She thought it'd be okay to put her things there. Please, don't punish her. I, uh, I wouldn't dream of punishing her. And, um, what about Tinker? They both deserve to be loved. They're both wonderful house pets. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, uh, you have all made your point. You know, I wasn't elected to the city council by not listening. Tell Mrs. Larson I've changed my mind. Next election, I'm going to vote for her. I thought you said you'd never vote for her. Well, she's not the only one who can change her mind. <laughs> 